Yo, what is up? I love you. And right now, I'm going to tell you the danger about speaking fluently. It's possible to speak fluently and not have danger, all right? I'm not saying there's always danger when you speak fluently, but the majority, the vast, 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 vast majority of people who are trying to overcome their stutter get caught in a fucking cycle when they start talking more fluently. And what the cycle looks like is bad speech, bad speech, bad speech, and then some fluent days. And what goes on in the brain is a few things. Oh my God, I, I hope this doesn't leave. Oh my God, I hope this just isn't a temporary high. Oh my God, I don't want to stutter again. And then guess what? By all that panic, by all that fear, they remove themselves from presence, they put themselves back in their head, and they start stuttering again, all right? That's the first danger about about speaking fluently, is that you start to worry that it's gonna go. You start to panic that it's gonna leave you. You start to be in fear that, that you're gonna lose it. You're gonna lose the fluency. And that, of course, anytime you have fear, you're going to lose fluency, you will always lose it. That's a fact check, all right? That's a fact check. Anytime you are afraid of losing fluency, I guarantee you, you will lose it. I, I've told this story be, before when I was trying to overcome my stutter. I would be driving in my car and a thought would hit me I'd be like, wow. It's been four days of good speech. I hope I don't lose it. Or it'd be like, wow, I've, I've had four days of good speech. Why was I making... <laughs> it's funny because of what happens after this. Why was I making it so hard before? <laughs> Why was I making it so hard for myself to speak before? It's so easy. Look at me. And then the day after, I'd be back into stuttering. All right. And the reason why is because that those thoughts were backed in fear. Those thoughts were backed in. I hope I don't lose it. Those thoughts were backed in saying that this version of me was is not me. And I thought that me being fluent and me stuttering were completely out of my control. That I was just the fucking. leaf in the wind getting blown around some days I'll stutter some days I'm not and then when I'm not stuttering I'm like please hold on to it and guess what I would always lose it all right that's the first danger is to not get caught in that cycle and how you do not get caught in the cycle by knowing there's a process to overcome your stutter it's not fluke it's not being the leaf in the wind it's knowing that there's a process to overcome your stutter there's a process you have to go through in order to take the fear away from the stutter if you're already thinking if you're on a good day and you're thinking i i hope this doesn't leave me it's already left you all right it's already left you and the reason why is because it's back in fear and your stutter feeds off the fear that you hold inside. You are holding and trapping in the anxiety and the worry and shame about that version of yourself. You still have shame of that other version of yourself. You have a feeling that you cannot be the person you want to be if you're stuttering. You cannot show up to the world the same person when you are stuttering versus when you're not. There are two different people, but why? Why are they two different people? It's because you hold so much shame in that one version of yourself that you want to avoid. What kind of life is that? What kind of life is that? That's again, being the leaf in the wind. That's the first danger. That's the first danger of fluent speech is to get caught in that cycle again and you'd be like, oh my God, it was never lasting. But now let's move on to the second danger. The reason why I actually started picking up this phone and filming. The second danger of fluent speech is feeling good. All right. All right. Let that sink in. The second danger of fluent speech is feeling good. Why is feeling good a danger of fluent speech? And it's not just feeling good, right? It's feeling fucking amazing. 
It's when you're speaking fluently and you're like, I'm fucking free. I'm so free. This is amazing. Oh my God, life's amazing right now. Do you know why? Do you know why that will always put you back into the hiding, repressing version of yourself? Is because that is an outcome. Your fluency is just an outcome. It's an outcome of the emotions you're holding inside. It's an outcome of your inner thoughts. It's an outcome of your behaviors and your actions and your habits. And if you start to feel amazing, 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 amazing because of outcomes, not because you're of, oh, I love myself for my habits. Oh, I love myself for putting in the work. Oh, no, if you say I love myself because of fluent speech, that will also conversely allow you to fall fucking face first on the ground when your speech gets interrupted when you start stuttering again the amount of high you went to when you got fluency is the same amount of low you now enable yourself to hit when you stutter all right the goal is to be even no matter what if you if you're fluent it's like yeah all right that felt pretty good that felt pretty good. I felt pretty in my body. I love that. All right. Not getting so hyped about it because when you stuttered, you'd, you'd say, okay, that felt not that good. But it wouldn't fucking wreck you. And the goal to overcome your stutter is not the constant ups and downs, ups and downs. It's about finding a new, it's about finding a neutrality, finding balance and starting to form a new relationship with your stutter that isn't just shame and embarrassment and anxiety and worry and doubt and embar embarrassment i said that twice it's not all those negative emotions you you you, you want to stay in the middle lane because once you start to see that fuck my stutter isn't that bad and you're in a state that isn't down to the fucking ground you're in a higher state and you're seeing that Wow, you you actually had the perspective to see no one gives a fuck. No one cares if you stutter. And you start taking that perspective on and you start seeing your your stutter through that lens consistently day after day after day going on to weeks and going to months after months after months. You start to form a new relationship with your stutter that isn't backed in fear. Because what are you fearing now? You're not hitting these lows. You're not hitting these valleys of despair when you're thinking your stutter controls you and it's so embarrassing no you're seeing it for what it is just an outcome that's it take the hype off of fluency take the low off of stuttering see the middle ground and start to change your relationship with those emotions start to change your relationship with your stutter and that will set you free all right those are the dangers, like the dangers to avoid. Fluent speech is great, all right? Stuttering is great. They're both great. But if you are trying to overcome your stutter, my, and it's fairly new to you, my best guess is you will fall into these traps because I did, all of my clients have, no one has gone out of this alive. <laughs> It sounds a little dark, but everyone falls into these traps. And that's why I'm here to tell you to be aware. And my guess is you're still going to fall into these traps, but at least now you know how to get out of it, right? How to get out of it is to realize that if you're still holding fear about a version of you that you can become, which is a stuttering version of yourself, if you, if you have fear of that version of yourself, you still have work to do, all right? There should be no fear connected to that because you are you shouldn't be a different person. You should not be a different person based off of, based if off you're fluent and different person based off, based off your stuttering. Should be the same person, should express just as much and that is how you start to gain the habits and the momentum to overcome your stutter. Now, if you want the opportunity to work one-on-one, one-on-one with me, 
for a period of time, weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, and you want to overcome your stutter the authentic way, without speech techniques, by but by authentic character development, by becoming the most authentic character, the most authentic version of yourself possible, and as a byproduct of that, overcoming your stutter the same way I did, the same way all my clients are doing, then you can book a free consultation down below. The closest link down below, click it. It says book your free consultation. Fill in some details, your first name, your last name, your email, your number, and I'll shoot you a call and we'll have a chat and see what your situation looks like and see if you're someone that I would be able to help, all right? That's just if you're inter if you're interested in taking the real route, not speech techniques, but the real fucking route, all right? I love you. Life's fucking amazing. Watch out for these dangers. Watch out for these traps. Take care. Peace out.